Josh. You're on the air. Hey, now. Hey, now. This you know, radio you say graffiti? That... What, Josh? I said, is this radio graffiti? Radio graffiti. Go ahead. <laughs> uh, I, saw... <laughs> I saw Flat Ronnie on uh, NBC primetime. Oh, I should mention that. What happened? Flat Ronnie has that. been on two weeks in a row. Uh, Whitney Cummings on a show called Undateable. And Whitney was making out with Flat Ronnie. And then Flat Ronnie, I didn't see this week's uh, edition, but again, Flat Ronnie appeared. So there is a case where we sent the TV show Flat Ronnie, and Flat Ronnie now is one of the characters on the show. Wonderful. So Flat Ronnie's starting to show up, and, and we're going to give more people who can get Flat Ronnie in high-profile places. Okay? Thank you, Josh. And it actually, yeah, it actually uh, made me watch the show. I'd never even seen or heard of it before, but... They, so they say the show went up to, in the ratings since Flat Ronnie started appearing. <laughs> they do say that, Josh. You're not the only one. Wouldn't it be great if that actually happened and more people put on Flat Ronnie so that they could get ratings? Flat Ronnie will work anywhere. Thank you, Josh. Yeah, have you heard of that uh, Making a Murderer on Netflix? Yes, everyone is talking about it. I'm purposely... I a bit of it. I am purposely not watching it because I don't want to be like everyone else. <laughs> but it is, it really is kind of scary when you think, if this is how the justice system works. Yeah, you know, that's why I don't want to watch it, because I am so down on all of our, all of our society's, uh... uh Ills, would you say? No, no. I'm, give me an hour and I'll think of the word I'm looking for. <laughs> I'm so down on a lot of our systems, you know... I used to believe in the judicial system so until I read about all the guys who died from the death penalty who were innocent because people railroaded them. I used to believe in the political system until you read about all the corruption and people just buying the politicians. And then I used to, you know, it's just like one thing after another. And the older you get, the more disappointed you get. So if I watch that, then I'll really be pissed. Because these are real people. They exist and they are behind bars. And, you know, continuing to be behind bars. It's not like the, there's a happy ending to this story. No, they're still locked up. But all I know is I saw uh, Jimmy uh, Kimmel and his wife over the break. And they were carrying on, you know, Molly Kimmel. Mm. Uh, they were carrying on about how great the series was that we had to watch. They were uh, every night rushing back to their room to watch a couple of episodes. They were binge watching it on Netflix. Yeah. And then Rosie O'Donnell told me about it. As she was so excited about it that she told me the whole ending. So you don't need to watch. Well, she, Rosie goes, I want to tell you about this show. You need to watch it, but I don't want to tell you too much. <laughs> and then she told you everything. And she told me everything. I said, well, now I don't need to watch. <laughs> you know, because I'm being very careful rather than telling you what it's all about. Well, first of all, good thing I have no memory because I don't even remember what she said. <laughs> so, but anyway, so it, there's two p examples of people who are carrying on. And then... All of a sudden, I saw that everyone was carrying yeah, on about this. Yeah, lots of uh, high-profile people have been tweeting about it. Other, you know, lots of people calling for a retrial. I refuse to watch. Thank you, Josh. And, and Marianne from Brooklyn, quickly. 